Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Venue tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom watch faces using your own images. So this watch face right here, I created using a picture I took in Joshua Tree just a couple months ago. And I really like getting to see that. It reminds me of my trip out to Joshua Tree. And one of the benefits of having the Garmin Venue is the high resolution screen. So any pictures you use for something like this will look great. Now, in order to create our own custom watch faces using images we've taken or images we have downloaded, we need to use the Garmin Connect IQ Store app on our phone. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your phone and download the Garmin Connect IQ Store app. Now, this is what it will look like in the iTunes App Store and check the description because I'll have direct links to the app down there. Once you get the app installed, open it up. And then from there, what we're going to do is select the three horizontal lines in the top right. And then in the menu that opens, we're going to select face it. So this is a really cool feature that Garmin has created for its users that allows them to create their own watch faces. Now this does work on most of the watches that Garmin has, but the display resolution on other Garmin watches is so low that it really doesn't look that great. So the first thing we need to do to create our watch face is simply select the little plus symbol down here under my gallery. So select that. That's going to open up your recent photos from your phone. So basically anything that you've taken with your camera. You can also take pictures using the camera icon up here. So when the photos that come up, just find the image you want to use and select it. So I'm going to use this image from Arches National Park in Utah. Just select that. And as you can see, it's going to quickly throw something together for you. We have a couple options here. There are three different segments. So we have watch faces, the colors of everything, and then we have the different watch hands that are available. So the first thing we need to select is the format of the watch face we want to use. They have both analog and digital. So I recommend scrolling through here. You can see all the different data sets that are available with each of these. I like to have one with steps. So I'm going to select this one right here that has the time, the date, my battery life, and then the steps I've taken that day. Now from here, once we've selected our watch face format, we can move everything around to anywhere we want it to be. And then if you want to zoom in on the picture, you can pinch it and that'll zoom it in. And then you can kind of move it around. So I'm just going to move everything around to kind of just right here, just as an example. Next, let's move over to the colors right here, and this will change the colors of the minutes and also the day in the date. So I'm going to do red. I think that looks cool. It's very easy to see. And then lastly, we can select the font for the time because we're using the digital clock. I think the first one is easier to read, so I'm going to select that. Once we're done, simply select done. Go ahead and name it and then save it. And what it's going to do is put it together and give you a quick example of what it will look like. Now, if when you see this example, the anything is cut off, like the time or date, anything like that, that means it'll be cut off on your watch. So to edit the watch face, all we need to do is select the three dots in the top right and then go to edit. We can also delete it. Now, once we like the watch face we've created, we can get it on our watch by just selecting send to device. And then as you can see, it's going to add it to the queue. So now select the back button in the top left, go back to the main screen in the Garmin Connect IQ app. And when you see the icon of your watch up here in the top right, select that. And then as you can see in the download queue is test to the watch face I just created. So I would just sit here and refresh it. And once it downloads to your watch, it'll disappear from the download queue and show up under watch faces right here. Now, from my experience, this does take anywhere from a couple minutes to up to 20 minutes. So I would just give it some time for it to download that to your venue. And then once it is successfully installed, it'll automatically become the watch face on your Garmin venue. So as you can see, you might have to play around with the different things you put on the watch face and the location because they might overlap. Even though it doesn't look like that in the Garmin Connect IQ store, it does on my venue. So I just need to edit that, move the date down a little bit, and it should be fixed. But it does look pretty cool. Now, one more quick thing, if you want to change the venue to another watch face, all you need to do is hold down the bottom right button to open the menu. Then just select watch face and then you can scroll left or right and see the different watch faces you have installed or configured. All right, so that's how you create custom watch faces for your Garmin venue. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin venue tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.